how much is it? Cause you know. I'm gonna do a little bit of a different coffee today. I have this Walden Farms calorie free caramel syrup. This stuff is not the best. I feel like just because of the ingredients, let me see if I can get this to actually so you can read it. Lots of processed stuff in there and oils and different sugar substitutes. So honestly, this isn't the best. I'm just gonna do a little bit of it because I'm craving something sweet and I'm going to give myself some balance here. I also have the Tarani sugar-free vanilla syrup and I'm going to be using the Silk Half and Half alternative. This stuff is really, really good and I absolutely love it. I went ahead and made a Get the cinnamon dolce pod. If you're new to my channel, thanks so much for stopping by. My name is Brittany. I am a stay-at-home mom of two babies, three and under, and I post a ton of motherhood content and postpartum fitness content on my page. So I hope you'd consider sticking around by hitting that subscribe button. Moment of truth taste test. This is really good. All right, so I've got some breakfast going. I've just got, woo, foggy, sorry. I've got some mushrooms, some red bell pepper, onion, and an egg frying. Okay, so I just realized that there's nothing green in this, but it is absolutely delicious nonetheless. And this is my breakfast. I literally feel like I let the day get away from me. So it's one o'clock right now, or it's 12.47, and I'm just getting ready to eat lunch um, because we have to leave. So I'm literally doing this. I'm not really hungry, but I know I need to eat. Otherwise, I'll be out and about, and I'll like be ravishing because... <laughs> You know how that goes. Um, so I'm just preparing myself a little salad. I just have some romaine. I put some carrot shreds on top, some red onion. And I wanted to talk to you guys about this Applegate uh, turkey breast that I got. This is sugar-free, one gram of carb per two slices. It's just really, really good. I like that it has no sugar in it, which a lot of lunch meat does. So this is the oven roasted turkey breast. So I'm gonna go ahead and have two slices of that, slice it up, and that's literally gonna be my lunch. I'll show you guys that in just a second. But somebody wants to say hi. Hello. Good <laughs> Okay, so I already know right now a boiled egg would have really set this on fire, but this is what I have. So it's just a bed of greens with some guacamole, some tomatoes, some cucumbers, red onion, and that meat. And then I'm going to use this noble made sriracha tahini dressing. This is dairy free and you guys, this stuff is so good, so good. It's like got a nice little kick to it, which I really, really love. Um, so I'm gonna use that as dressing today. And that's my lunch. Nova, where are we? What are we gonna get? Mm, a cake pop. Yeah, cake pop. Would it even be a what I eat Wednesday if I weren't at Starbucks? I mean, seriously. I feel like every time I post one of these videos, I'm buying coffee, but that's just the way of life. Hi, can I please do a um, 16 ounce cold brew with sugar free cinnamon dolce and sugar free vanilla? Can I just do two pumps of each of those? She's about to be so sad if they don't have that cake pop. You know, it's have the cake pop. Will you be sad if they don't have it? Um, no one will say, um, I don't know why they don't have cake pops. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do have uh, birthday cake pops left. How many would you like? Just one, please. All right, so that was a success, and they actually had cake pops. So, Nova, are you happy? I'm, I am obviously new to this and not true to this, but I didn't know about the Starbucks like um, app that you can have on your phone where you can like collect points. So I live in a really rural part of Washington State. There is like three Starbucks on the small island that I live on, but they're all like 30 minutes north of me. So typically I will try to go to Starbucks if I'm in town, um, but it doesn't always happen. And normally I'll just go to like the little coffee house that's by our house. So I just haven't been up on game on this Starbucks game because it's not like somewhere I, I normally go. But I have been making it more of a point to stop by here because there was only one drive through on the whole island and we just opened up another drive through that's way closer to where I usually go when I come to this part of town. So I feel like I have been here a lot now. Like I already have 53 points, so. But I did buy people coffee, so there's that too. But I love that I have like my card attached to my Starbucks app, so. Do 21. What? Um, I said. 
it can happen, probably um, have lunch and... We should probably take a nap and have lunch? Yeah, you should have taken a nap. Naps no, don't happen wait, around no, here. No, wait. I got, I got lots of things to tell you. I want to move in popcorn and take a nap and have lunch and take a walk and... And that's, um, go to the park maybe and that's, um, um, and that's have lunch. Okay, we'll do. We'll make all that happen. But I know that I need to go home because I need to clean the house. Somebody paid for my coffee. That's so nice. You know I had to pay that forward. Usually, whenever someone pays for me, I always try to pay it forward. Thank you. But I will ask. Like I'll say, how much is it? Because you know, if your girl was only planning on spending five dollars on coffee, and then the person behind me's order is like ten or eleven dollars, it's like. Oh, I have the best intentions. Let me throw a five on it. You can just throw money on people's drinks too. You don't have to like pay for the whole thing. Yay. Thank you. You better say that thank you. Shoot, you better have some manners up in this piece. Okay, so I'm getting ready to make some turkey meatballs and I want the kids to eat these, so I'm gonna make them a veggie. Some of them I'm going to make right now and then some of them I'm gonna freeze for later. So I just shredded up one large carrot and one medium sized zucchini and then I'm going to use this cheesecloth to get all of the liquid out. So I'm not sure if you've heard, but if you haven't already, let me tell you that I'm so excited to announce that I launched a fitness accountability group over on Facebook. I will have it linked down below in the description box for you guys. It is a tribe of women that I have gathered together so that we can hold each other accountable so that we can end off this year feeling like the best healthiest versions of ourselves. Ways that I'm planning on doing that is by sharing with you guys my weekly meal plan and my shopping list, as well as creating workouts that I will be following. I have video demos of these and I have everything compiled into a nice template that you guys can print right out. All you have to do is answer a couple of questions, make sure you're following me on Instagram and you can get in on this amazing group of women. So that way you don't feel like you have to to end off the year with that extra five pounds that a lot of us have at this time. Especially with the holidays coming up, it can be so incredibly difficult. And the last thing that I want to end 2020 off is feeling overweight or like I overdid it on the food. So I definitely am encouraging you guys to go ahead and click that link, join me, let's have fun, let's hold each other accountable, let's lift each other up, let's just be a support system to one another. And I am so looking forward to having you all there. I'll have this recipe link down below. It is one of the recipes that I'm sharing in my group as well as on my website. So I'll definitely make sure to have that linked there for you guys. Make sure y'all check the description box. As always, I'm adding all of my spices, my carrots and zucchini, and I like to use gloves when I'm mixing meat. Y'all let me know if this is like really weird because I like using gloves whenever I mix my meat. I just feel like it's more sanitary and I've recently been getting my nails done so I really don't want any like raw meat under my nails. I don't know, just something about it seems gross. Even if I wash my hands, I'm just really afraid that any little particles will be there and like having a baby, I just, yuck, it just really scares me. But anyways, I go ahead and I mix all of these up together and I'm just going to be using a ice cream scooper to scoop these into little bowls. And one tip I will say that I didn't follow is to make sure that you are spraying your uh, foil with some sort of oil. I didn't do that and my meatballs stuck to my pan really bad. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you do that just so that they come off nice and easily. But I put these into a 375 degree preheated oven for 15 to 20 minutes and they turned out so delicious and extra veggies for the kids. So I'd say that this recipe was a huge win. All right, so here is the chicken meatballs and then I'm just heating up some of this Rayo's marinara and I'm probably gonna have this with a side of broccoli and the kids are gonna have noodles and it's crazy over here. And there we have it. There is my meatballs and the sauce. These guys are getting noodles with theirs. Is it good? I want to eat it. 
Yeah. As long as I can get them to take a bite or two, I'm happy. If you guys like this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.